Hey guys, what up and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm actually doing an kind of like an updated video. I posted one a couple of days ago, but um, uh, I got rid of that one and I'm putting this one up because I found out a few more things that may be useful uh, for you regarding this uh, main stuff and the emulators and whatnot. So um, right now I have the ROM set 0.37B5. And honestly, at least on Raspberry Pi 2, this one seems to be best overall. Um, I've tried the other ones, and honestly, they're laggy, uh, they're glitchy, or whatever. And, uh, and and some ROMs work, some don't. This one overall has really uh, very good performance, and uh, and most of the ROMs work. Although, of course, it has a slightly smaller ROM set, at 2200 ROMs, but still. Um, you can find some of the other ROMs that are not on here and use them either through FBA Alpha uh, or whatnot. But anyway, so that's the ROM set that I'm using. It's a main for all ROM set. The thing is, is that RetroPie has two emulators that can be used with this particular ROM set. So if you're using this ROM set and it's not working, it's probably because you need to change the uh, emulator. I'm also going to show you how to do, how to change the emulators depending on what folder that you're in and you're launching the ROMs from. And we're going to discuss the arcade folder and how you can make that folder um, pretty much anything you want. So let's go ahead and let's get started with uh, what the issue is here, which you probably already know. Okay, let's do Battle of Midway. We're going to go ahead and launch it. There is a uh, little window that pops up. It says that the emulator being used as main for all. As you can see, you're getting uh, that wonderful window with all the files not found or missing files or whatnot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change this. Now, this ROM set, the 0.37B5, is in the main dash main for all folder. Okay, that's where I'm launching them from. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the game, but this time press any key like the enter key while that gray box is up. Now I'm on RetroPie 4.0, so my menu may look a little bit different than yours. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm at the uh, very first uh, option here, which is select default emulator for main dash main for all. And in parentheses, it says main for all. Also, if you look a little bit closely, let's zoom in a bit you'll see that uh, it says main for all uh, in most of the options here, okay? So we're gonna change it by simply pressing enter at the top one, which is already highlighted. And now you'll see your two emulators. By default, main for all is the one that's being used, but we're gonna change it to LR dash I mean for all. Press enter, and now you'll notice that almost everything says LR dash main for all. You also have a couple more options you didn't have before. Right, so we're gonna leave everything the same. And since we already picked the game, in this case, 1943, you can see the ROM right there. We've already have it chosen. We're just gonna launch it. So let's go ahead and go to launch and press enter. And we should be good to go. There we go. And let me uh, crank up the volume a bit here. So, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so you can see the game is working. All right. So, <clears throat> you get the gist. Let's get out of this. All right. Now, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go back into that window where we were at before. All right, we're gonna press enter here. I'm going to come here and uh, I'm going to select the top one and you're going to see my two options. All right, here's the thing. The options that you get here are driven by the folder, not driven by the ROM. So I thought maybe, as some other people thought, that maybe RetroPie would auto-detect what ROM you were using from what ROM set and give you the options based on the particular ROM. Actually, that's not true. The little, main, the little Retro Pi or Raspberry Pi isn't that advanced. So what it does give you, uh, the options it does give you are based 
uh, from the folder that you are launching the ROMs from. And that's what dictates what comes up on this window. So even though this is the main for all ROM set, if I was to stick this ROM set in the main advanced folder, the option that would pop up here would not be these two options. It would be the main advanced option, which is the only one for that particular folder. If I stuck them in the main uh, uh, Libretro folder, same thing. Only one, I believe only one uh, emulator choice would pop up in that folder, despite the fact that I have a main for all ROM set. So your choices that you get at this window are folder driven, not ROM driven. Now, if you open this up if you put roms in your arcade folder and you open up this window you're going to see about eight or nine choices almost every single main rom well actually every single main rom in retro pi will be available to you as well as every fb alpha emulator will be available to you so you're going to get eight choices that's because the arcade folder is a wild card folder you can make that anything that you want so you could stick any rom set you want into that arcade folder and you can pick whichever emulator you want in order to launch that particular ROM set. Now you're wondering, well, what's the point? If I have an FB Alpha ROM set, why don't I just stick the FB Alpha <clears throat> um, uh, ROMs into the FB Alpha folder? And yeah, you can do that. Uh, the thing is, is that if you have two slightly different ROM sets, for example, there's a couple of different FB Alpha ROM sets that are out there. So instead of putting the um, the same, I'm going to exit out of here, we're not launching. Instead of putting both ROM sets into the same folder, which would make things confusing because now you have a bunch of ROMs from two different ROM sets and then you would have to tell each ROM specifically one by one to uh, which emulator to use. That's a hassle. So um, they give you that folder that way you can use that one and uh, if you wanted to have like two slightly different um, FB Alpha um, let's say ROM sets you can put one in the FB Alpha folder and the other one in the arcade folder the other thing why it's there is because and I don't think I have it online anymore when you have something in the arcade folder this cool old style Pac-Man type arcade font comes up and it says arcade it says the word arcade and it does it in pac-man font and it looks pretty cool so um and you can put any rom set you can actually put this one like this main for all rom set that i have i can stick it in that arcade folder and then just pick lr i main for all and just launch in from there um i won't have the main deal anymore uh but now they'll be in the arcade one also whenever you put multiple roms uh in multiple main folders if you put them in the main folders, at least in the carbon themes, what you'll get is just a repeat of this exact same tab over and over again. So if you have ROMs here in the main Libretro folder and in the um, um, in, in the uh, main advanced folder, what you're going to see is this tab three times next to each other. And you won't be able to tell which one is which except by the number of games that are down at the bottom. There's, there's no wording that separates them. I think custom um themes do separate them so some of them I, I believe i've seen that it says like mame advanced mame libretro but um yeah on the stock ones it's just going to say mame a bunch of times okay so anyway that's kind of how the arcade folder works and that's how you uh, how you can set the different um emulators depending on the on, on the folder that you're in and that you're launching the roms from so hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding on how to work all this. So if you wanna have that cool arcade font and you just have like one main ROM set, stick that ROM set in the arcade folder, pick the right emulator, and then you can launch it from there and you can have that nice cool uh, arcade font popped up on your uh, RetroPie home screen. Okay guys, sorry this took so long. Thank you for watching the video. And if it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. We will see you next time. Till then, take care.